What's your guilty pleasure? The daily social distancing show with Trevor Noah, delving into the lives of crooked politicians like Silvio Berlusconi in Bunga Bunga, or figuring out who Dr. Death is going after next. These podcasts are well-researched, packaged beautifully, and make their hosts quite a bit of cash. Let's highlight the 15 richest podcast hosts. Number 15, WTF. A Luxers, it's not always abundantly clear what podcast hosts earn, but the ones we've selected will definitely make you go WTF. WTF with Mark Marin is a weekly podcast and radio show launched in September 2009 and hosted by stand up comedian Mark Marin. The New York Times and Entertainment Weekly have both written positive reviews for the show, which receives roughly 250,000 downloads per episode. Notable moments on the show include Todd Glass coming out, Pete Davidson from SNL admitting he had borderline personality disorder, and Mandy Moore admitting her marriage to Ryan Adams was entirely unhealthy and emotionally abusive. These notable moments mean that Marin earns around $14,700 per episode. Number 14. Come Town. New York City-based comedians Nick Mullen, Stavros Halkius, and Adam Friedland started their controversial podcast in 2016. Just sharing the name of the most recent episode, Suck Dictionary, should give you plenty of ideas as to why the guys often face backlash just in case the name Come Town wasn't enough. Yes, it's vulgar, yes, it's juvenile, and yes, it makes the guys a decent amount of pocket money. The boys banter and mess around, mostly unscripted, and it nets them over $50,000 a month. And a Luxers, if you'd like to net a decent monthly salary, but you're willing to use the word come in your business name, we suggest you subscribe to our channel for classier ways to make a living. Number 13. Doughboys we head to a food source of much more satisfying proportions and introduce you to Doughboys. Mike Mitchell and Nick Weiger indulge in food from various fast food chains and offer honest reviews of their tastings. They love to wine and dine and expect the odd argument or two, but all for a common good cause, delicious food. It's estimated the guys earn as much as $58,000 a month, but they're keeping their exact earnings as safely tucked away as parents with a secret stash of chocolate. Number 12. Tiny Meat Gang Social media influencers Cody Ko and Noel Miller found fame on Vine, and when that died, they continued their comedy by creating Tiny Meat Gang. Like the introduction to their podcast says, they'll make you laugh, hopefully. Episodes range from Leave Britney Alone to Royal Family Takedown. They've done exceptionally well with their brand and have added live events, merch, and original music to their umbrella and are earning more than $50,000 a month. Number 11. The Last Podcast on the Left it's a celebration for hosts Ben Kissel, Marcus Parks, and Henry Zabrowski, who successfully completed 10 years on air as podcast hosts on the 29th of March, 2021. Serial killers, conspiracy theories, UFO sightings, ghosts, and creepy pastas are all the norm on this hugely popular and successful twice-weekly podcast. It's the type of podcast that lures you in with actual recordings of true cannibals, serial killers, and criminals with the scariest crime records you've ever heard of. There's merch, there's books, and there's live shows, and all of this brings in close to 60k a month. Number 10. Second Captain's World Service When there's five of you involved in a podcast series, it's far easier to release something every day, which is exactly what the Irish guys do from Second Captain's World Service. This podcast is one of the most popular podcasts in Ireland and covers every topic under the sun. Expect politics, sports, news, and humor. Lots and lots of humor. Owen McDevitt, Ken Early, Mark Hogan, Kieran Murphy, and Simon Hick formed Second Captains in 2013, a media company that also does live shows and television. It's the fourth most popular podcast on Patreon, and to listen to the show, you need to pay a monthly fee of roughly $5.55. The team earn more than $60,000 a month, and as Vice said about the show, probably the world's best football podcast. Number 9. Smart Passive Income 
Pat Flynn is all about passive income. Some call his claims a bit BS, but he's definitely worth a listen. He brings in a plethora of guests who all back up his methodology and encourage you to work on earning a passive income. We love this idea of sustainable success because that's the ultimate goal, isn't it? Flynn was ranked as one of the top 10 podcasts on iTunes business category and is said to earn roughly $100,000 a month through two podcasts. Take his advice to heart. Your earnings are a byproduct of how well you serve your audience, and you can only best serve your audience when you know exactly who you are, what they're going through, and what will get them to take action. We highly recommend you take a listen to his four and a half star rated book on audible.com called Will It Fly? How to test your next business idea so you don't waste your time and money. If you haven't already, don't forget to claim your free book through us at alux.com slash free book. Number eight, Chapo Trap House. Hosts Will Meneker, Matt Christman, Felix Biederman, Amber Ali Frost, and Virgil Texas are the team that entertain you on the Chapo Trap House podcast twice a week. The team are strongly associated with the dirtbag left. Hey Luxers, if you've never heard of this term, it was coined on this show by Amber and according to Urban Dictionary refers to a style of left-wing politics that eschews civility for its own sake in favor of subversive populist vulgarity. There are free episodes which you can hear, but when you become a subscriber, you get access to exclusive content. In 2017, subscribers brought in a monthly income of 60 k for the hosts, and by February 2020, they were earning $160,000 a month, making them the highest grossing users on Patreon. Number 7. This Week in Tech also called Twit, is hosted by Leo Laporte and various other panelists in the tech industry. The program began in 2005 when Laporte recorded a roundtable discussion he had with Patrick Norton, Sarah Norton, Kevin Rose, David Prager, and Roger Chang at the 2005 Macworld Expo in San Francisco. He published the show, people loved it, and he continued the trend. The most recent broadcast delved into the $69 million JPEG, rural internet getting a boost, and Netflix password sharing crackdown. Be sure to watch our video 10 Things You Didn't Know About NFTs for more details on that highly expensive JPEG. Twit makes $50,000 per episode and has won several awards, including two podcast awards, The People's Choice and Best Technology Podcast. Number 6. The Bill Simmons Podcast, The Ringer Sports lovers know this is a go-to podcast, hosted by American sports columnist, analyst, and author Ben Simmons. Simmons doesn't lack on experience, having worked for ABC, ESPN, and Jimmy Kimmel Live. His podcast is the most downloaded sports podcast of all time, and it's rumored that Spotify bought The Ringer for $300 million in 2020. At the time, The Ringer had 90 writers working on content. Celebrity Net Worth says Simmons' net worth is $100 million, and The Ringer earns around $15 million a year. He gives some solid advice, eh, Luxers? Don't worry about what other people are doing. Worry about what you're doing. Number 5. The Adam Carolla Show your host of The Adam Carolla Show is, you guessed it, comedian Adam Carolla, who launched the show in 2009 and it quickly became one of the most popular podcasts ever. The show made it into the Guinness World Record book for being the most downloaded podcast receiving close to 60 million downloads between March 2009 and March 2011. He also made history with 1.1 million live video streams of the show. The podcast led to him branching out into other avenues, including Carolla Drinks, Merch, and and events. Corolla has just renewed his podcast deal with Podcast One until 2023. His net worth is around $20 million. Number 4. Armchair Expert Dax Shepard is your host of this hugely popular podcast that airs once a week. This podcast is all about celebrating the messiness of being human. His first guest was his wife, uh, but his wife is Kristen Bell, so it was bound to be a hit. The show made it onto Vulture's list of 2018's best comedy podcasts, and the crew have filmed several podcasts in front of live audiences. Shepard's net worth is estimated at $40 million, according to Celebrity Net Worth, and the show brought in $9 million in revenue in 2019. Number 3. The Dave Ramsey Show 
He also goes by the name of Finance Guru. Dave Ramsey is an astute businessman and author, and has amassed a huge following on his podcast, where the average 13 million people listen weekly. He shares easy to understand and practical financial and budgeting advice. He features on over 600 radio stations and relies on the old school style of broadcasting. Remember the days when people used to call into a radio station to ask a question? We barely do either, but we promise it did happen. The show earned $10 million in 2019 and Ramsey's net worth is around $200 million. Number 2. My Favorite Murder 35 million downloads a month with popularity rising and dozens of live shows under their belt, Karen Kilgariff and Georgia Hardstark have managed to make the grim and grisly highly entertaining. They've been growing since 2006, and all crimes featured on the show really happened, as unbelievable as some of them are. The hosts have built a murderino fan base who adore them, and the podcast has been featured in Entertainment Weekly, The Atlantic, Nylon, and Rolling Stone magazine. They give sound advice, often. Like, if you meet a person and you get the weird feeling in your gut, absolutely trust yourself and get out of there. And pepper spray first and apologize later. They earn around $15 million a year on the show with Karen Kilgariff's net worth at $20 million and Georgia Hardstark also at $20 million. Number 1. The Joe Rogan Experience Exclusive to Spotify is our highest earning podcast host, Joe Rogan. He's been hosting the Joe Rogan Experience since 2009, and the show delves into the lives of anybody and everybody. With a net worth of $100 million, Rogan has made his revenue across several platforms, with the podcast earning him $30 million in 2019. In 2020, he signed an exclusive licensing deal worth an estimated $100 million with Spotify, and it's estimated this could earn him up to $75,000 per episode. Not everyone loves his opinion, but love him or hate him, he's officially the highest earning podcaster at the moment, so I guess his opinion is definitely worth something. So Alexers, what's your favorite podcast? We'd love to hear from you. And as a reward for sticking with us until the end, of course, we've saved a bonus. Aluxers, the stats for podcasts are impressive. Currently, there are over 850,000 active podcasts and more than 30 million podcast episodes. Three out of four listeners tune in to learn something new, and one out of four people don't know where to find a decent podcast. So take this as inspiration, and here are some suggestions if you're keen to increase your knowledge. Stuff you should know. Part-time genius. Science of happiness. And astronomy cast. These podcasts will keep you going for a while, and then of course, there's always Alux. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, and we always appreciate your thumbs up.